Hey guys, Turk here. Hope you're having a great day. We just watched the AMD keynote for Computex 2021 over in Taipei, and we got all sorts of new information about their APUs, their data centers, and all that good stuff. But y'all, we really only care about one big thing, and that is Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FSR. And guys, we got all caught up in the moment. Lots of good information, but I want us to tap the brakes for a second and just say, guys, FSR doesn't look as good as we think. Stick around. Now, I've got to admit, guys, we always get hyped up when Scott Herkelman hits the stage, and we did get a lot of positive news when it comes to FSR's implementation. And the biggest thing that I think is going to be going for it is going to be its broad adoption. It's going to support pretty much any modern graphics card, including all of the latest AMD graphics cards, all the way to the RX 500 series graphics cards, including some of their APUs. We got our 5700G review coming here this week, but also they're going to be supporting NVIDIA's G GPUs all the way to their GTX 1000 series, which includes Steam's most popular graphics card, the GTX 1060. Now, on the surface, that seems like really good news because you can apply this technology to pretty much any modern gaming computer that's out on the market. But guys, that's where I think a lot of the Steam starts to lose its luster. And when you look at actually some of the footage that they're showing in the video, I'm not really all that impressed. So let's actually walk through some of the particular videos we saw with FSR in action. So the first gameplay we got to see with FSR in action was with the title Godfall. Now, if you haven't heard of it or have played it, <laughs> to be honest, I don't blame you. We did cover it, though, in our next generation gaming console versus PC analysis. I'll post the link up at the top right for you. And let's be honest, it's a heavily AMD optimized game, and it's really not that, you know, fast paced. It's a really good looking game and it's built for next generation consoles. So on the surface, it seems like it's a pretty good game to look at or the gameplay we saw in the video. It's not really a good indicator of what the gameplay is actually going to look like. So this first set of scenes we're looking at is looking at the RX 6800 XT at epic details at 1440p with ray tracing turned on and Let's be honest, it actually does look pretty good. On the left side, we see it with uh, no uh, FSR engaged. And on the right side, we see FSR engaged with ultra quality preset. And we do get a sizable bump in FPS, which on the surface, it's a really good thing. But let's take a moment and dissect what we're actually looking at here. To be honest, guys, this is a very slow and uh, very gradual uh, tilting of the camera going up on a very dark scene with very little actual detail and texture that's going on. So it's not really a good indicator of what the game looks like, because if you're looking at the screen here, this is what an actual gameplay looks like with ray tracing turned on with our RTX 3080. It is way completely different than what we actually saw in the video. So as optimistic as this visual quality looks like from Scott Herkelman and his team, it's just not really indicative of what we should be seeing with the actual gameplay. Now, the second scene we get to see is actually looking at all the various different modes that you're going to be able to engage with FSR, which, you know, if you've run any DLSS 2.0 stuff, you've got uh, ultra quality, quality performance and uh, balanced. Yeah, those are the different modes that you're going to have with FSR. And as you go along the sliders, you get more frame rate, but you do start to sacrifice some of that frame rate for quality if you're going with the quality settings. And again, to be honest, it's the same exact scene with the uh, really dark colors, slow tilting motion, as well as not a lot of textures going on the scene. So this is like the best case scenario to show that FSR is really going to look really good and give you those frame rates. So again, this is kind of misleading information because Godfall, again, is not this type of game. It is significantly more vibrant. And lastly is what I think is going to be the nail in the coffin for FSR, at least with this early gameplay footage, is the actual benchmark mode that we get from Godfall. It's going to be kind of an on-rails representation of what the game looks like, but it is utilizing lots of foliage for textures. It's using a lot of effects when it comes to like slashing and dashing and all that good stuff. But guys, if you're looking here on the left, this is going to be the GTX 1060 at native resolution, native everything. And on the right is with FSR enabled. And guys, you instantly are able to see this is at the quality preset, I believe. The quality of the textures is just drastically worse. And guys, the definition of these, I can even 
I can boil it down to a single screenshot. The quality of the edges and the stuff that we see on the scene, it is night and day difference between FSR engaged and FSR turned off. To be honest, that extra gain we get with the GTX 1060, it's not worth the loss in graphical fidelity in my honest opinion, because we're still right around 30 FPS. It's not gonna be a fun time to play. Even if this is a slower paced game, it's just not gonna look that good. So how is that gonna translate going forward? We don't have that information because unfortunately we don't have any other good gameplay footage at our disposal. The only good thing, guys, is this is going to be released to the developers and to the public June 22nd, which is only 22 days away from now. I can't believe it's already June and we're in the summer, but I, I do have a little bit of hope. This is an early sample of gameplay footage, so there's going to be some optimizations. It might look better with uh, higher, more higher end graphics cards. So, you know, we still don't know what it's going to look like. But guys, I just want us to be honest with ourselves. FSR is not going to be as good as we hope it's going to be, but we can be optimistic that AMD, as well as the developers, are going to be able to tune and tweak these settings in order to get the best quality gameplay. Appreciate you guys coming by and watching the video. I hope you all have a great day. We're going to be having our 5700G coming out later this week. I'm going to be updating it with some of the information we got from Computex because this FSR is going to apply to some of these APUs we've got in the past. But again, sorry to bring bad, bad news, but FSR really isn't going to help out the APUs much. I that anyways. But anyways, that's for the Thursday video or Friday video. So make sure you come by, hit the subscribe button down below, as well as the bell icon. Uh, and I hope I'll catch you guys later. So appreciate y'all. Hope you all have a great night. Take care.